James Melendez, James the wine guy. Making these videos, it's hard, I'll tell you why. Stay tuned. So um, it's not what you think. No, it isn't. It is not producing videos as difficult in terms of you know the actual uh, you know editing and, and uh, producing the videos. It's so I found some amazing, cool wine people, and I love to associate with them. And uh, so I think that's a really wonderful thing in this hyper competitive world that we live in. Wine is no different in the wine reviewing, the wine judging, the wine writing world. Um, it's really, really competitive and people are really, can be very unpleasant. Now that's what I don't like. That is hard. I, I think it's hard on anyone. Some people strive on it. Some people like making controversies or making people feel uncomfortable. I don't. Um, it's not just who I am. I think when people get in that level of making things uncomfortable or difficult or this one-upmanship, I'm not really sure what, what one gets out of it. I don't get anything out of it. But. I think the other part of it too is that, you know, I also am involved in a lot of wine writing uh, worlds as well as blogging and vlogging and so forth. And I've run across a few people who are so hyperly negative, anything I say is uh, misconstrued. In fact, one person who's no longer a friend on Facebook, and it wasn't just because of one particular incident in December, it was actually a many incidences in the past. I don't want any part of that. And, uh, you know, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm steering clear of this person. I've forgiven and overlooked. And it was one of their comments they made to me that just pushed me, you know, over the edge. I want to give the specific comment because I don't want this person to get that knowledge that it's about them. Uh, they probably do know and I don't really care. Ultimately, it was really disrespectful to me and my group of friends, which I have a good number of friends on Facebook. And I don't think I would ever do that to them. They were assuming, you know, I live in this world of, you know, rose colored glasses and I do not. But things also were not perfect. Things didn't go as well in terms of being a perfect year. They went really well though. And ultimately, they took that to heart and saying that they had a, a crappy year. Well, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not trying to rub it in. So it wasn't to compare my year against their, their year. I didn't even call them out. And they were so negative and I just thought, you know, I'm embarrassed for me. I'm, how could I be embarrassed for someone else's comment that was so horrible? I never do that to anyone else. That's just so ridiculous. You know what? That's okay. I may run into them. I'm not worried about it. I think ultimately it's being cool with yourself, being you know happy with yourself and being willing to you know say, that's enough, I'm not gonna put up with that. So that's one of the hard difficult things is the hyper competitive side, the I would say unpleasant side of it too. I work best in a cooperative side. I, I know a lot of wine writers and wine judges and um, you know wine reviewers and we get together and we have a great time and we're not trying to do one upmanship against each other. In fact, we're trying to be collaborative with each other. That's a wonderful thing. I really appreciate that. So, and, and I think the other part of it too is that there's a certain part of, I would say, not the PR world, but there's a wine marketing community can, that can be really un, insensitive to timing. And I had one person who's like, here, do this, do this, do this, do this, and I need some of that. And don't forget to put on Instagram. And I'm like, um, you know what? I don't work for you or your wine company that you're representing. Um, you can do that yourself if you feel the need to or not. If I have time, I will, and if I can't, I won't. In fact, I didn't have time. And I just thought, you know what, I think people think this is my full-time job. It isn't, wish it was, but it is not. And uh, that other person was just, you know, just taking advantage of my time in a way that I didn't appreciate. That's what's hard. And I think people take advantage of that and like don't even pay respect to that. That's what's hard. I wanted to show you my authentic self versus that, oh, everything's perfect, everything's positive. Um, you know, yes, there are difficulties in my life, of course. I don't ride around in a town car in wine countries drinking wine, eating the greatest food. In fact, I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich quite often uh, for lunchtime because I like it, but it's also because it's simple. And I make it myself and I don't eat out every day. But ultimately, it's uh, life is good even with all its hard things. It's also putting perspective. It's also showing you, you know, this is what happens in my life as well. It was not going to be a rant. It's going to probably be a wine uh, review or maybe it's a general subject matter topic. Thank you for watching. I'm on many social medias, so let's stay connected. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Sante.